Good morning and welcome to this video. The title of today's video is going to be advice to first year me. I'm currently a fourth year about to graduate so it's just things that if I could go back and do my university experience that I would do again my second time round. So I have three pieces of main advice that I would give myself. So my first piece of advice is going to be making friends on campus. So there are different ways that you can make friends on campus um, when you first start a university. And I remember feeling super nervous about it because I didn't know anybody going. So what I found was is that I made friends really easily in halls, the, the people I live with were super easy to get along with. I had a few friends on my course, so I sort of wanted just to sort of bulk up my friend group by having some societies that I could join as well. And in general, societies are a really great way to make friends like there you just meet so many people and everyone is I think in the same position as you so therefore it's very easy to get along so my advice on this one would be to when you're in your first few weeks of university join more societies than you have time for so, and what you'll find is that some of them you'll probably gel more with others and that gives you a chance to try out so many new things decide what you like and what you dislike the other thing I would say on this, which is kind of like a sub, a sub part of advice, would be that just because you're no longer in your second year does not mean you can join new societies. And I have joined a new society every single year that I've been at university and I have made so many different friends because of it and have many different friend groups and that's been really great. So I'd often maybe suggest that you can do that as well. Um, so my second piece of advice that if I could go back, I would give to first year me would be on studying. I think when I was studying in first year, what I sort of found was if I had an essay that was worth 5% of my grade and then I had the exam which was worth 70% of my grade, I would spend a disproportionately long amount of time on the essay because the essay was due first. So the essay would be due in March and the exam would be due in May. And even though the essay was worth such a tiny percent of my grade, I would put in hours of work. And then by the time I got the exams, I'd left it all a bit too late. So if I could go back now, my advice would be work decide how many hours roughly you're going to do and do the work according to those hours so if an essay is worth five percent of your grade it should be worth five percent of all the time that you put on that subject that, that's kind of quite a nice idea to have in you have in your head if something's worth two percent don't percent don't spend days on it and if something's worth 70 percent don't leave it to last second just because it's the exam and it's the last thing you're going to be thinking about the the final piece of advice i would have is um apply to absolutely everything and the reason for this is that university has so many um, opportunities that you can apply for it's just that I think most people don't even realize they exist so my favorite example of this is during my second year of university when I went to China for free and basically in my emails we got an email out saying hey um are you interested in traditional Chinese medicine do you want to go and study in China for two weeks, studying traditional Chinese medicine? And I remember reading the email and thinking like, oh, that's so cool. That's mad that the university is giving out free scholarships to go and study traditional Chinese medicine. I'd love to do it. But I was also thinking, well, the person who gets that is probably going to be super smart, going to get all A's, going to have just, you know, going to be better at me than everything. So I ended up not applying for it straight away. And then the day before the deadline, I decided to bash out an application because you know what I had a had a moment of like okay you know what I might as well apply for this and um I ended up getting it so I ended up going to China for free for two weeks which was absolutely amazing but the part that I think really surprised me was that um only 15 people applied for that scholarship and we, there was five places to go so you had just by applying a one in three chance of going just because nobody else did so that would be some advice I would definitely give to anybody who's starting university now is apply for everything because there are so many opportunities that you could potentially have if you do apply but if you don't apply you're just guaranteed not going to get it. Um, since China thing I have applied to so many other um, opportunities throughout campus and um, most of them I don't, ha I don't get but you know every now and again you do get one so it's definitely something to consider whilst you're at university. Um, so that's all the advice that I would give to first year me if I could go back, I think. So my my parting advice to you would just be to have a really good time, learn a lot about yourself, decide what you do and don't like, do study a little bit, but just have a good time. So yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. Um, I hope my advice could be of some use to you. 